Hey guys, so I'm back with my new Mauser chain stitch machine that does the five kinds of stitches and I'm getting set up in my workroom now. I've had this machine for like one week and I absolutely love it. It is so spectacular. I mean, I don't know that it'll replace the regular stitch the regular chain stitch machine for quick little doodads. Um, and this is definitely not a machine for a beginner chain stitch person, but I just wanted to show you a little bit more about the machine. So I went over the machine setup in my how to video. Otherwise, most of these videos will be sort of demos. If you need to know how to get this machine set up and working, assuming that one already has chain stitch knowledge, I show you how to get this machine set up and working in my how to video on this machine. Otherwise, if you need general chain stitch knowledge or setup, look to the videos I have showing my red Mauser machine where I go into detail about how to get started. But I'm going to jump in, assuming that those of you watching um, maybe will want a machine or they will um, be buying this machine in addition to the machine they already have. So today I've got um, down below, I'm using Mauser Silk Round Floss Thread and I have this going up through some uh, screw eyes. So this is my chain stitch thread down here. And then on the top, I took and I, I can't see it. I wound um, three strands of metallic thread onto this spool. So all three strands are wound together onto this spool. And um, I had to play with the tension. Ignore this. I put this on here myself. This is a little spring that I made out of uh, some stainless steel MIG welding wire that's gonna help with the ray stitch later, but for now I'm not not using the spring, so we're just going with the, um, the standard attachment. So, um, sorry, I'm jumping around. So I started out today to make sure to get this set up, doing a little bit of chain stitch, and it's working fine. So um, I'm getting nice chain stitch front and back, and um, then I, after testing that I'm getting chain stitch, I threw on this bobbin that I wound. I kind of checked the tension and then just, you just throw it on there, throw it through here, and I started going. And basically this is what I'm getting. So I'm going from ordinary chain stitch to my chain stitch getting wrapped with these three threads. And I'll put you in the holder and do a little demo. Okay. So now every time the needle goes up and down, um, the machine is wrapping, this thing is going around one time and wrapping my chain stitch thread as the, um, the needle goes up and down. So it's pretty simple to do. I just love this machine. It's so nice. I mean, I've had it for like a week and it, it really drives great. It's, I mean, this is badass. I love this. This is so cool. Now I can have multicolored chain stitch with wrapping. It completely changes the way your thread looks. And it's not hard, okay? This is not hard, but I definitely think having the basics of chain stitch down helps to understand what's going on because this is definitely a more complicated machine, but the stuff it can do, I mean, it's just amazing. I'll go up here a minute and I will show you um, what it's doing. So I guess you guys can see that it's just wrapping with every um, stitch. Let me zoom in here and I'll show you the thread that I just did. Hold on. Take it out of the holder and I'll just zoom in here and show you this. So you can see it's, um, it's laying down a nice coil with the, um, sorry, let me try to focus with the metallic thread getting wrapped around the chain stitch. And I mean, you can just see in comparison the difference in the chain and the fancier stitch that's wrapped with this just adding one extra uh, spool here to this machine. And that's the Mauser um, fancy machine that does five kinds of stitches. Absolutely love this machine, way, way cool. So cool.